Often we pray for things that we are not mentally, spiritually, and physically ready for. And then we get disappointed when we don't get those things. Think about this. A plane cannot land on a strip that is filled with cars and all other rubbish. My name is Kelvin and welcome to day four of my Monk Mo journey. Um, this is when I learn how to listen to my mind, lead by my spirit, and stay strict to my core values. This changes every single time, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm just gonna flow with it. Today, I'm emphasizing on the fact that prayer is not enough. Wishing is not enough. Before you do come and attack me, just understand what I have to say. Um, as I said in the beginning, I often feel like as human beings, we always want these things, but we don't understand the fact that you need to be at a specific level to be able to handle specific weights. Look, I want you to think about this, right? You want to be wealthy, you want to be a millionaire, you want to have all of this money. But at the back of your mind, you are overlooking the fact that you need to be spiritually, mentally and physically ready for that amount of money. Because realize that that amount of money comes with um, a significant amount of stress and a significant amount of responsibility and also a significant amount of spiritual well-being. And requesting that is okay. I don't have a problem with those requests, but I have a problem with the fact that as human beings, we enjoy requesting things that we're not willing to put in the work for. Because if you are not at that level and it happens that your prayers or your wishes are answered, then you're gonna get that money and then you're gonna mismanage those funds. You won't know what to do at the moment. It's exactly like the same analogy of someone giving you 10,000 Rand right now and you haven't planned what you wanna do. You just allocated in a really irresponsible way and then two weeks later you're like oh no i'm out of money whereas if you've actually planned for that and you're actually ready for that money you would have allocated it in a very smart way that the money can still work for you so um a point that i just need to emphasize on is i'm not i'm not taking you away from the praying and wishing for good things but i'm pulling you you closer and when i say you i refer to you and you <laughs> You understand i'm pulling you closer to the fact that once you get on your knees and you pray for something or you start wishing for something or you start manifesting something you also need to be in the physical universe starting to work for that and asking yourself questions as um i want a new horse but what do i need to be ready to get a new horse firstly i need to go um for horse lessons i need to see where the horse lessons are you know break it all down so that when you do get the horse you just literally go with it i hope this really makes sense because this was a revelation for me today like there's so many things that i want but i ask myself am i ready for those things you know it's like am i ready for a million subscribers on youtube everybody some people being mean some people asking for advice handling that amount of traffic am i uh, really ready for it am i ready for having to run this as a business you know so that was um, a great revelation for me because we can't pray or wish for something that we're not ready for just to add on that, believe it or not, bro, like opportunity is always there. You see, um, today I came to a point, well, yesterday, I came to a point where I'm like, if, if you are ready spiritually, mentally, and physically for something, you, you know what the opportunity looks like, right? You know exactly where to look and how that opportunity is gonna look. But if you're aimlessly praying and wishing, you don't know what the opportunity looks like. Even if the opportunity could be right in front of you, you are definitely gonna miss it. And I feel like I've been at that point in my life. I've been at a point where um, I was pursuing acting. I love acting with my heart and soul, to be quite honest with you. And it got me at a phase in my life where I was manifesting being an actor, I was manifesting being on TV. I was able to get a couple of uh, TV shoots uh, a couple of movies, a couple of series, but not to the pinnacle. And just looking at where I come from, I just realized that, no, it's not that it wasn't meant for me. It's just that at that point, I wasn't ready. And it's not that you become ready by chance, but you become ready by, the, um, by actually putting in the work and being able to say, okay, look, I need to do A, B, and C. When C comes out, you know, just like really calculating what will happen in life. Well, in your life whatever in, in in your predictions you will never fully be accurate but at least you can start to plan and see that okay cool i'm praying for a chicken how am i going to look after the chicken and the whole analogy continues 
and just going into the last lesson of my day this lesson was i don't know it was really eye-opening for me so let me just break down a little story for you that will just make a little sense of what i'm about to say so growing up in my teens i'm usually the person like th this was a question that i finally got an answer to i'm usually the person that walks away from the group of friends the group of people i'm always the one that walks away and i ask myself i'm like why you know because i've convinced myself the whole time that you no know, people turn their backs on me and i actually had a complete answer in day four which was my greatest win to be like i've realized that i thirst for growth and i thirst for improvement so much that i push myself that yesterday i'm no longer the same person as i am no today i'm no longer the same person as i am yesterday which is what i said uh, on, on day one that yesterday had to happen so that i need to understand what to work on today right and with 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 that journey happening every single day i transition i turn into a different person so weeks months years go by and with the same people if they do not want to grow if they refuse to grow then i feel like this is a point where i feel like they turn their backs against me but it's not that it's just that they were okay with who they are and this new me no longer resonates with that old person that they are do you understand um I, i hope this makes sense but this was like my biggest one of the day so for me that was day four um I, i'm i'm in day five day day five started off really rough man like emotions just really coming on to me and yeah no like i felt like crying in the morning but i i didn't really cry because you know what we we need to embrace the flow of life and in day five today i'm experiencing taoism and this is a it's a philosophy that you, you must just let things be and that's exactly what i'm experiencing in day five and thank you for watching this video to this point and if you still want to see my journey in day five come with me man uh hit the subscribe button and like the video follow me on all my platforms and don't forget i'm on kick live every single day having book sessions reading life-changing books remember that you can read a book today and not forget what's happening but that book will change the person that you are and how you logically uh come up with your solutions or whatever so thank you for watching the video this is kelvin and this is day four but i'm in day five i'm out